this is definitely my home and this is where I spend, I would say 80% of my time, 10% uh, in the living room area and 10% out in the world. Uh, before the pandemic, it was different. I would spend about 60% of my time on the road and then the other one at home. But you know, we, we do what we can and we make it, uh, we make it happen every day, so. Well, it's good to it's good to have you here, and uh, Courtney, you are here with us all the way from Italy. Thank you so much for making it. Thank you for having me. I'm super excited to be here. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Everybody's commenting on my hair. Thank you, guys. I did the special for today, so but I don't want to steal the show. This it is, is gorgeous, awesome. though. I can't stop looking. <laughs> A lot of people tend to be fearful, tend to be fearful to, to start anything. And I think that fear comes from the fact that we're scared to fail. And I see failure as, as success, because if you don't start anything, how could you even know the places where you can go? <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate each one of you for coming here. Uh, today is day two, branded by women. After I finished high school, um, I wanted to go to college and I wasn't the perfect student. I was not. I was far from perfect. I wanted to dream all day and I wanted to go out with my friends. And in the meantime, because I was already of age, right? I was like 18 at that point. I wanted to make money for myself. I've always, I, I had this desire, like there's more. I didn't know there's more. I just, I felt it. I wanted my family to be free. And I feel like all the decisions that I take, even today in business and personal, everything that I do, I want to make sure that everybody else is set up first. I have a beautiful son. His name is Ezekiel Lawrence Hamilton, and he is five years old. And I met my uh, my husband, and he's a Marine. Going through what I went through, I want to make sure that I'm able to offer him everything, everything that he wants. And you know, when he watches this one day, I hope he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna be happy. Growing up in a communist country, um, now looking back, I can say that it was definitely very different and very unique experience. And I don't want to put labels on it. I don't want to say it was good or it was bad. It was just what it was. And I guess that's the beauty of growing up in another country is you don't know there's anything else like where you are is where you are at my dad um for the longest time he worked at a car company and uh he had to go travel within romania to go bring uh, car parts uh to the auto place my mom was uh, like a seamstress so she worked for this factory um her and all the other hundreds of women in the city there's only like one place to work at and that was it of course i had this battling thoughts like what if that's it for me what if i'm going to grow up going to get married have you know two three kids like my parents did work in a factory and then you know that thought was just so heart aching for me i was like i don't want that i I, I don't know, like other girls my age would talk about marriage and they can't wait to get married and they would picture all of this, but those pictures never came to my mind. I was like, what is wrong with me? Golly, you look tired. Don't you feel well, Barbara? Oh, I feel terrible. Well, what's the matter, you think? No, it isn't that. I've decided to quit my job. I've always been interested and how do people make money online? I guess it's always been one of those curiosities of mine because I never like to sell my time for money. So even though as an entrepreneur, you do it in different ways, I never like the go to the office at eight o'clock and finish at five, um, my mind would get bored. Why are we not using this time wisely? Like why does somebody have to be in an office space for like eight, nine, 10 hours a day when you can accomplish the same amount of work in like two hours, right? So 
that started my, you know, my mind going and thinking, what is it out there that I can do that does not require me to be in a place that I, I am forced to be in a place from a certain time to a certain time. I just didn't like that idea. So when it came to e-commerce and online businesses, it was always this like mystical thing. Like, does it even exist? Is this a scam what what do people do because that's the first thing that comes to my mind um at least for me it came to my mind like how are all these people making money i would hear about things like consulting and uh selling on different platforms and i was like how can i do that so it started as just like an inkling just like a little small seed and then it kind of snowballed and next thing you know i own my own company and we're standing where we are today but that was just like the very very beginning of it. So Rank Bell was created um, almost by accident, let's put it this way. So I started getting um, very curious about Amazon early on about seven years ago going back and uh, Probably even before that, I was working at the U.S. Embassy in Rwanda and then U.S. Embassy of Burma as a government employee. And while I was there, the only place, the only store that could ship items to us um, in this, you know, countries was Amazon. So my curiosity started about Amazon. I'm like, how are they the only company that can do this? And what is it? that makes them better than everyone else why is it that they go the distance to satisfy me as a customer and not all the other department stores and i had no idea i was going to create a company i was first looking on how can i sell a product myself what are the ins and outs and then i realized oh my god there are third-party sellers which is what is known for those of us who sell on Amazon and I started thinking I'm like how do I make this more legit I wanted it to stand by itself I wanted to be the person behind it I wanted to be the one behind closed doors but I wanted this name to represent what we do so rank bell uh, rank came from the but what I do in my service that I provide, which is ranking products for Amazon sellers, and Bell just came from selfishly from my name, from Bella, Isabella Bella. So it just came rank Bell. You know, the reaction that everybody had was like, oh my God, there's this service in town that's actually helping us. Uh, bring our stores and have more visibility and sell more products. Because essentially, what Rank Bell does is creating millionaires this is this is literally what we do day in and day out and there's not a better satisfaction than knowing that you are able to help someone financially uh, that you are able to help them achieve that financial freedom that i didn't have developing overnight president activating the national guard in three states that have been hit hardest by coronavirus new york california and washington it comes as governors across the country plead with the federal government for supplies. During the pandemic, I've noticed a huge increase in e-commerce. I see a lot more people interested in, you know, even selling online or starting some type of business online. And the interest came from those that actually been thinking about it for a long time, but also this other part of people that have never thought about doing anything online, but were forced to because of the situations. I mean, all a lot of businesses closing, um, you know, a, a lot of department stores, a lot of offices and people have been laid off a lot. So now they're looking towards what else is out there that I can do and e-commerce provides that solution the future of of online e-commerce is is absolutely huge so for those that are thinking oh my god you know amazon is 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 too used up right now there is no place for me there this is just the beginning and i know it sounds crazy because it's it seems like it's already everything is already sold there's not really room for anyone this is just the beginning i think we are right now where that magic happened because in 10, 20 years, we're going to look back and really say, wow, after that pandemic, like this is what created all the millionaires right now. And I, I believe that wholeheartedly. And we're really just starting to scratch at it. I don't think I don't think we're even there yet.
I want to start today and I want to dive in a little bit into of branded by women and what it means for each one of us because we're all I think strong powerful business women which is why we're all here um and I want just to get just a few words um from me from starting with them as low if possible um what does this event represent to you so being involved with branded by women Listen, I absolutely love men and I respect them and I learn everything I know from men. But yet I was still looking for that feminine side and and take my power from them too. So I was looking at like Sarah Blakely and Oprah and all these other successful women and I wanted that in my community. I wanted that here in my home. I wanted to reach out to them and say, hey, good job. That's badass what you do. And I didn't have that seven years ago. And now it's 2021 and here I am hosting this event with 40 plus women speakers that are completely badass and they all either own their own company or they sell on Amazon or they're providing some type of service or they're uh, book writers or TEDx speakers and it warms my heart because I am no longer alone but when you have your own tribe and your own community it's like being part of uh I guess uh, for men it will be like a what do you call them like a brotherhood or well, it, it feels exactly the same it's just nice knowing that you have somebody that you can share the same feelings to. Uh, Miss Lowe, thank you for being part of Branded by Women this year and thank you for your support and your sponsorship. And Miss Cassandra with Helium 10, you're always there for us. And uh, thank you for being not only part of Helium 10, but a really good and close friend of mine. And you are so special to me in my life. Helium 10 is not only like a software, it's not only a tool, but the culture that this company provides is so different than all the other ones. They really made Helium 10 feel like home. Like when I speak about Helium 10, I literally speak as an extension of Rank Bell. I don't consider them, oh, it's just this tool out there that people use. Like, Without them, I feel like I couldn't do what I do. I think Cassandra has a huge part in in, in creating that culture. Um, she really brought her, her personality, she brought her love, literally her love into this company. And when you put your love into something, everybody else can feel it. We're here at this amazing event. Melissa Simonson from Empari just rocked the house today. Today was the first day and we're so happy to be here with our favorite team, Helium. Yay! I would love to, you know, one day be on a on a stage in front of, you know, 10, 20, 30,000 people and speak from my heart and say, look, I was able to get here. Um, I had no help. My parents were nobody influential. And uh, I know if, if I could do this, I want everybody else to see that they can do it themselves. So if I leave this life knowing that I inspired a handful of people, I would leave satisfied. Because you know what? Money comes and goes. For, you know, a lot of people when I say this, they're like, well, no, because I'm struggling and this, but money's the easy part. The hard part is finding that fulfillment in life. And people think that finding the money will give them that fulfillment. So my wish and my hopes for my future is to inspire as many people as I possibly can to go out there and create something for themselves. I think I'm moving towards that. I'm pretty, pretty satisfied with, um, you know, how far I've gotten. I think the future is bright for me as well.